Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to string an SI and when to use one. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to string an SI. An SI stands for Special Interlock. It was first made popular when uh, Brendan Mundorf made his STX string tutorial for his STX Surgeon, and he used a single SI in there to pull it down a little bit tightly. Um, it's really the same as in an interlock or a knot, it's just a knot. It's going to lock that uh, hole of mesh down to that sidewall hole. Um, another player that really made it popular was Mark Matthews uh, with his unique SIs that were a little different and also the stacked SI. Uh, so an SI is a knot that uh, kind of pulls the mesh to the outside of the head and actually makes it uh, kind of nice for face-off guys because the ball won't get stuck in the back of the head as easily. You can see SIs are what I've used down at the bottom of the stick right here. And uh, they can really just be used where knots and interlocks can be used uh, to pull the mesh down tightly and lock it to the sidewall uh, to create that nice, nice channel that you want. So now I'll show you how to string one. All right, guys, so now I'm going to teach you how to do another knot. It's called the SI, which stands for Special Interlock. And it can be used um, just like an interlock would or any other knot. Uh, so what you're going to do first for the SI is you're going to go through the mesh first. So you're going to come down through the back of the mesh hole that you want to do right there like that then you're going to come in through the outside of the sidewall hole and then you're going to go up through the bottom of the mesh and under that original sidewall loop just like that so you can see these are all SIs that I've done so far so I'll show you that again one more time so first you're going to come down through the back of the mesh in through the outside of the sidewall and then up through the bottom of the mesh under the string that you used and pull it down tightly so that is an SI. Alright guys so I hope I helped you learn how to string an SI. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more stringing videos and tutorials. Like this video if you liked it and have a great day.